Hello everyone. So uh, till now we have installed Go into our local system and set up the IT to work with Go. Now, when you install Go, it not only installs the binary to run the Go program, but it also install a couple of more things like Go toolset as an encapsulated package. So basically installing Go will install the setup for running, building, testing, documenting, and do some other stuff in Go in your local machine. Now let's talk about this Go toolset and what this uh, what different things this brings into our plate. Now, let me go to the terminal. And uh, if I write a simple go and press enter, you'll see that there are different set of commands that this bring, this is bringing into our plate. Now, let's uh, let's talk about a couple of commands here. Rest, you can read it because the documentation is fantastic. So go build, this is the command to build the packages and the dependencies. This will basically compile the package. Go clean for clearing out the cache. Go doc for showing the documentation related to the package or a symbol means a package or an object or a function. There are different dependencies attached to it that you have to add the comments in a specific format to generate a documentation via go doc command that is normally being followed with the standard go packages. Uh, env is the command to print in environment information. Then install is the command to uh, build, compile, and generate an exe or an package for you. While, uh, when you want to distribute your com uh, Go package or an inst installation. Mod is the command to manage the dependency. Basically, uh, using mod command, they have inbuilt the whole uh, dependency manager ecosystem into the uh, Go installer itself. Because normally with an open source and uh, program or, or an open source language, you have to add a third party dependency manager or you have to manage your dependencies itself. But it's not the case with Go. So they have their own dependency manager. Go test. Next interesting thing, that is the whole testing framework is inbuilt within the Go. That will help you write your unit test. In the cases, Go version will print the Go version for you. Now, uh, this is all about the commands. Now let's talk about another thing or an interesting thing that is Go help. This is the another command that I want to talk about. Like if I'll say go help, the syntax of go help is go help and the command that you want help with. Say for example, I want to see what this doc command does. So I'll say go help and then I'll write the doc, press enter, you see. It has given me every information about this doc command. See? Now it is saying that doc prints the documentation comments associated with the item identified by this argument and doc accepts zero, one or more two arguments. Every bit of information about the doc command is given here. So see in a similar fashion, we can uh, take help of go help command to know information about each and every command or a very, very brief information about each and every command. Now the, there's another command that is very interesting that I want to talk about is go help. Oh, I'm sorry, go doc. Now, if you'll see, this is the command go doc. And after that, this is the default package that is provided by go called JSON. And inside that package JSON, there is an object called decoder. Inside the object, there is a method called decode. Now I want to understand what this decode method does and what is the documentation about this decode method provided by the Go, because it's an inbuilt package provided by the Go itself. So what I will do is as a command, I will write Go, then the command name is doc, and then the fully qualified name for the method of which I want to see the documentation and, and I'll press enter. You see, now this is saying package is JSON. This is how you can import the package encoding slash JSON into your classes. And this is the function, right? It accepts a parameter of type interface. It returns an error. It can be nil or with some error, some documentation of what it does. It reads the next JSON encoded value from the input and stores it into a value provided by V. Now, see, you know, at to till what depth they are providing the documentation. Now, if the same command, I do not want to see the 
documentation for a method. Instead, I want to see the documentation of the whole object, right? So let's do one thing. Let's remove the decode from this. So I'll say go doc json dot decoder. I'll press enter. You see, now it is saying that this is contained in the package JSON. This is how you can import it, and this is a struct. And these are the methods that this struct contain. This these are the method that this object contains. All these methods, and you can see. Now, let's drill down a bit deeper into it. Now, I say I want to see the information about the package JSON only. I do not want to see the information about the decoder as well. So I'll say go doc and just JSON, and I'll hit enter. Now you see it will give me all the information related to the package JSON. This is the command that I have fired. It is saying that this is package json this is how we can import it now package json implement encoding and decoding of json as defined in rfc 7159 the mapping between json go values is described in the documentation for marshalling and unmarshalling functions these are all the functions that it contains this package contains these are all the types this package contains so basically every bit of information is already provided so Basically, by just using commands, we can see every bit of documentation within Go. And also, we can generate the same type of documents for our own packages as well. If we are writing a distributed packages, we can make use of Go, Go doc command to generate package as well as to help other developers use the Go, command, Go doc command to see what exactly each and every function or an object or a package is doing in our own packages that is uh, customly built by us. So this is the beauty of Go and this is the benefit of the GoDoc command. So uh, that is all for this lesson. Now in the next lesson, we'll talk about certain programming in Go and we'll talk about some more stuffs within Go. Thank you very much.